Tonight, Tampa police are releasing a video of a violent robbery at an Amscot and North Florida Avenue. And what makes this crime even more egregious, the victim tells News Channel 8 several people, including a store clerk, just watched and they didn't do a thing. Chip Lasowski joins us now live from that Amscot on Florida Avenue with more on this video. Chip, this was some tough video to watch. Well, it absolutely was, Josh, and police tell us that the attack happened at this Amscot office on Florida early Monday morning. The victim, Amy Ross, thought because the place is normally busy that time of day, she'd be fine. She was wrong. This surveillance video from the Amscot at 8409 North Florida in Tampa shows the man walking back and forth. He appears to be wearing a white t-shirt and a hat with a red rim. When the camera zooms out, you can see him walking behind the victim and another woman at the ATM. Then the attack happens. Amy Ross tells me she's still in pain. I've got this knot here. This is all swole here. Ross remembers the attacker approach. And once I got my money out, he was like standing behind me. And when I went and turned this way, he went, give me your, I had my money like this. And he went, give me your money and went like this to grab it and pried my hands open. And I said, no. Cameras rolled as the attack happened. And those eyes overhead weren't the only ones watching. Other customers, one in particular, moved out of the way so the robber could get the victims green and go. That has Ross seeing red. They were just standing around. I said, he's robbing me, he's robbing me, and nobody was doing nothing. Ross tells me she's hoping someone recognizes this guy and turns him in. Or perhaps the man himself will grow a conscience. Turn yourself in. Be a man, turn yourself in. If you're a man. And TPD is asking for anyone with any information on the identity of that suspect. The video is pretty good to give the Tampa Police Department a call. Josh. Chip, probably what's most surprising here, uh, shouldn't those customers or even the employees there have at least called the authorities in this case? Well, that's the question that we all had. We don't know exactly who called 911 in this case. I did contact TPD, and an officer there told me that while people should call to report if they witness a crime by law, they're actually not required to. Wow. Chip Osowski, live for us in Tampa tonight. Chip, thank you.